I have built over 50 drawers and this will be the video I wish I had seen before. The first and obvious mistake is choosing the wrong type of drawer slides. On my first cabinet I was young and I needed the money. So I bought the cheapest drawer slides I could find. The roller drawer slides. Not only are these slides the weakest, they are also prone to bending under heavy load and they are very unsmooth to operate. If you want to cheap out, ditch commercially slides altogether and build yourself wooden drawer slides. I built them out of hardwood strips which are glued and pinned to the drawer and to the cabinet. After some waxing they operate buttery smooth and won't cost you an arm and a leg. And they are also the easiest to mount and install since they are not attached to the cabinet and can also slide sideways a bit. If money is not an objective or you finally build enough wonky operating drawers, buy full extension ball bearing slides. I buy them for around 10 bucks a pair and they hold 45 kilos or 90 pounds. Mistake number two, building the cabinet not absolutely parallel. Your base can be wonky and crooked as you like, but in order to have smooth operation, you must ensure the vertical structure where the drawers are mounted is absolutely parallel. Good practice is to use spacer strips in the desired size and build your cabinet around it, so the vertical uprights are equally apart everywhere. In a pinch, you can band-aid a crooked cabinet with some shims. Mystic number 3. Building the drawers absolutely perfect. When building the cabinet and the drawers, you will, like everybody else out there, screw, glue or weld it together and won't CNC it out of a solid block of aluminum. To cut to the chase, there will be some inevitable variants. So when building the drawers, I usually tend to cut some strips of wood in different lengths to act like a go-no-go -no -go gauge. This way I can determine the width of the drawers by simply choosing the strip which will fit all drawers without binding up. In general, I make the drawers a smidge smaller than measured because the ball bearing slides will happily stretch one or two millimeters but under compression they refuse to work. Mistake number four, using the wrong holes. I learned this the hard way. There are dedicated mounting holes which you should use. These little tabs allow the slide to have some wiggle room and compensate for a minor variation. Mistake number five, welding the drawer slides. You will, without doubt, have a bad time welding drawer slides, but since I'm lazy, I did it anyway. A few things to consider. You'll need an air compressor to cool the spot which you just welded, since there are plastic ball cages inside the drawer slides and they will melt on you if not cooled properly. When you are finished, it's not a bad idea to re-lubricate the slides with some grease, since the welding heat may displace some grease. Bonus tip, design your cabinet in such a way you can mount the drawer slides beforehand on a sheet of metal or wood, on the workbench in a comfortable position, and later secure the sheet with the slides to the rest of the cabinet. Trust me, you don't want to experience weld splatter when trapped inside a metal frame. <laughs>